All right, Home Jazz Ensemble 2. Well, it's great to hear you. I'm Dr. Jeff Kunkel from the Cali School of Music at Montclair State University here in Northern New Jersey. And uh, what a wonderful ensemble you have. Thanks for being part of the National Jazz Festival this year. So many schools that I know would be overjoyed to have a top ensemble of this ability level and you should be very proud of what you're playing. Of course, I know somewhat of the history of your, your schools, um, jazz ensemble success, and it's now easy enough to see why. The program is really well done and I'm glad to see you focusing on the basic swing tunes in the first and third tune. Some adjudicators may say you should play three totally contrasting tunes, but I think I understand that it's an educational mission here and that the swing tunes, these type of tunes are the basis. And therefore, I'm glad to hear you play these. To me, Wiggle Walk is just a classic, classic opener. Um, that tune, Moat and Swing, so many of the bassy tunes, they really just work. And the whole Kansas City Suite is great. We played it a few years ago and it's just a great piece of music and of course the individual movements work just as well. Doing a really great job with that. Um, do be careful at times, sometimes the brass, you know, have their work cut out for them on that particular tune. So just something that you wanna watch out for. But overall, the band is doing a great job with it and uh, it's a great choice for an opening number. And it leads well into uh, Oklapaka. Uh, Mike Mossman's charts are great for, uh, they're the real deal, uh, playing music from the Latin idiom. Uh, and it's, it's, I'm glad to hear you playing his music. The articulation issues that sometimes I heard in the first number don't happen in the second number, at least not nearly as much anyway. Um, and it's no doubt because uh, you know, the uh, brass level of ability of the brass matches probably the articulations needed for this tune a little better, where there's some work to be done yet on wiggle walk and that type of tune. And don't get me wrong on that, it's work that's in progress and easily can be done. So, um, but Oklapaka goes really well for you. I especially love the job done by the Barry and the bones, you know, in the uh, intro, or not the intro, really the first section and out section, uh, you know, the head of the tune. Guys, sounds just great. And it moves well into Lullaby of the Leaves, which again, I really love the style of the tune. And it is a contrast from the previous tune. It just happens to be, you know, in a vein of the first tune, which again, to me is fine. Um, maybe some shedding, needed in the sax uh, uh, solely, there's um, no substitute for that, basically. I think we all kind of know that already. And uh, watch the time on the extended field drums, around 12 minutes. Um, but uh, I wanted to say also though, for the saxes uh, in that tune and earlier, it's great to hear such a balanced section. I love hearing all the parts, something that I have to work on you know, so many bands with uh, during clinics or um, adjudications or talk with them about it during adjudications. Uh, the fact that the unisons are one thing, the VCs are another, Soli's primarily the VCs and man, it's just great to hear all the parts in your sax section. So, um, and that's even considering what might be the limitations of the type of recording you're using and so forth. So. You guys sound great overall. Again, amazing to have such a great second band at your school. I wish you continued good luck and we hope we see you live next year for National Jazz Festival in Philadelphia once again. Continued good luck to you.